Over the years, rideshare companies like Uber have had a contentious relationship with the city's cab drivers. But as CBS 2's Andrew Ramos explains, a new partnership is aiming to change all of that, with the two now starting to work together. Driving is not a toy. For more than two decades, Gregory McGee has called the roads his office and the steering wheel his most trusted colleague. Just at the tap of the button. The Chicago taxi cab driver has seen it all on the job, the ups and downs and everything in between. Some of these drivers are out here working so hard, actually, we're raising children, uh, if you can imagine that. When he first learned about a partnership between Uber and the city's more than 2,800 taxi cab drivers, where riders will be able to request service from a local taxi driver using the Uber app, it was music to his ears. We need every fare we can get because every fare is precious income to pay those bills and provide car service for someone who's trying to get to work on time or what have you. The partnership is an expansion of a program already in place in other cities like New York and San Francisco, where participating drivers earned 30 percent more on average than drivers who did not take Uber trips. In this new rollout, local cab drivers will come up as an option for users looking for a ride. Riders will pay the Uber X rate and will receive upfront pricing. So this is more another opportunity just to have more trips in the pipeline for them to make more money. For veterans like McGee, getting a slice of that ride share pie will likely alleviate the pressure of the grueling daily grind. Yeah, I could have time to take off a, a Saturday or a Sunday and then enjoy the city or go to church like my father told me to. <laughs> now this Uber taxi cab partnership happens in the same week the rideshare company announced new safety features for riders. Now it's all in an effort the company says to enhance the experience for both riders and their drivers. Reporting on the northwest side, Andrew Ramos, CBS2 News.